is coming up soon. So, what better way to make a Valentine's Day, make a Valentine's Day proposal than with food? Because everyone loves food, right? So I'm gonna show you the best food for Valentine's Day. That's simple because you don't want any mistakes on Valentine's Day. So let's get cooking. The first meal of the day is breakfast and it's some say the most important meal of the day. So, doesn't everyone love a good pancake for breakfast? But we're gonna make it Valentine's Day themed. So, you add some water. Um, I don't actually know how much to add. So I think that's enough. And then it says to sharply tap on the counter three times. So we're going to And then shake vigorously for one to three minutes. So, oh no, something spilled. Uh, well, mm, no, that's not done enough. I was hoping we could get away with a little bit less, but this is a terrible lighting situation as well, by the way, because it just is okay. Okay, I think that's good enough. Let's come over here to my kitchen. There, that was my kitchen. To my, my stove. Oh no, my, my tripod. <laughs> there we go, that's a bit better. So obviously you have to spray it with canola oil. Is this camera even, even? Probably not. Then we turn on our stove, then we get the right one. That's too loud actually, so we'll just have to open a window or something. You'll just have to deal with it. And I'm not mic'd because I couldn't be bothered. Okay, so wait until you can feel the heat. And then get your uh, pancake uh, batter mixture and Cook a pancake. <laughs> um, wait, maybe if I put it on this side, work better. So then you can kind of see what I'm doing. Well, okay, but now I need to move this as well. See, this is the trouble with filming with one, one person. Okay, um, that is, there we go, boom. So now, it's, well, ready to be flipped. Um, okay, well, um, I know now some spilled on the floor. Lucky I have dogs. This video is sponsored by dogs. No, I'm joking. Um, we need a plate as well. If you know where it's from, you know where it's from. Also, if you know where I got this video idea from, you know. Um, so, yeah. so one pancake, that's enough because I am actually gonna eat the rest of this another day. So we will just pop that into the fridge. Hooray. So then, if I come over, mm, don't do this at home, kids. Um, I feel like it was probably done with like an, ow, it's hot. <sighs> That's gonna help. Yeah, this is not. Ow. Wait, I wonder if I have one. I do not. Um, if you don't know what I'm doing, I'm trying to get it into a heart. Wait, so how do hearts go? 
Okay, so I don't need that. And then I need it to go like down. <laughs> um, okay, well. <laughs> and then we have to season it, obviously. So we put, can you even see? You put a little drizzle of maple syrup and then some blueberries. Will you be my Valentine? which I need bread for and guess what I don't have any of bread so we're gonna do a little snickety snack instead with cookies um, so you have this cookie mix because who has time to buy or make real cookies okay like no one any butter and an egg how much butter thought of a cup of softened butter I don't realize it will be this hard. Time to do our cookies for real now. Um, there's nowhere else that I can put it. So we're gonna cook them on the stove. Okay, so um, we're meant to stir cookie mix, butter and egg in a large bowl with a wooden spoon until combined. Use your hands to, to fully mix Form a soft dough. Do not eat batter as it contains raw egg. I actually don't think this bowl is going to be big enough. later okay there we go that's added and then we add our butter and egg mmm mmm delicious absolutely delicious looking and I don't want to use my hands so we're gonna do as much with the spoon as possible I'm gonna have to use my hands though so. Okay, here we go. We are all done mixing, kind of. It's good enough. Mm. So now we put baking paper onto one, one of these baking trays and then we space out. This mixture on it about five centimeters apart. Um, I don't actually, I don't actually care. Um, and then we mold it into like a a cookie-looking shape. But you're meant to put M and M's onto it. Who needs M and M's? It's Valentine's Day. You have to put hearts in them. Um, wait, how? Hmm. There is egg yolk on my knife. Wait, so I kind of just want to cut out a hole. And then actually we do need the M&Ms because you might use Jolly Ranchers, but I don't have any. Um, but you make a little heart with the, with the M&Ms. This is taking a lot more time than I wanted. I think I might only do one and then I'll just cook the rest of the cookies normally. Or bake the rest of the cookies normally later. Wow, an absolute masterpiece. If you can even see it. So now, we mind the cord for my ring light. 
put it in the oven for who knows how long. It's meant to be 15 minutes for all of them. I don't know what my... So, wait. Oh, we went to preheat the oven. Well, can't always be winners. Now it's time for dessert. I know you can't see me. Time for dessert. So we don't eat dinner in this household. Oh no, we eat dessert before dinner. So it's making, basically you just make a little heart with berries. I'm not gonna use blueberries. I, I think they're too, we're gonna use blackberries and um, strawberries because blueberries are too small so you just make a little heart with berries and then put ice cream in the middle um, wait I don't even know where I'm starting okay I think It's not, not gonna be big enough. Wait, but now, which one do I put? Wait, I think we're gonna have to make it a bit wider. says I love you like this uh, what more says I love you than this my cookies uh, okay our cookies are done on the other side it like didn't did not cook at all um, so I'm gonna it's like not even cooked properly um, happy Valentine's Day